In this tutorial, I'll talk about virtual host. As part of this tutorial, we'll see what is the virtual host, why do we need virtual host, how to configure virtual host, and we'll see a demo, working demo at the end of this tutorial. Till now, we know how to configure our dispatcher and what are the configuration we need. So let's take an example. I have my site called AM Geeks Local, whatever the domain you can have. For simplicity, I'm using this domain so that I can configure this kind of domain with, without you know, a need of any DNS. So let's say I have this and I request this domain, then I got the response. So I have some configurations for Dispatcher or Apache. So these configurations might be used for this website. But let's take example. Uh, if you're running multiple websites, you have multiple domains on same Apache and same AEM server, AEM public server. So in that case, how you will load different configuration. Let's say I'm having this AEM geeks, I got the response. If I now I have another domain or website geekstutorial.local, I got the response. But what I need, I need different, different configuration load for these different domains. So what should happen when I hit amgeeks.local, I should get a different configuration. Now, if I hit another domain, I should get different configurations and different output also. If I need to create cache, I need a different folder. I need to create logs, I need a different folder. I need different rules, different headers, different renders, everything. So that purpose here is, I want to configure different configurations. I want a different, uh, use case for different domain that you will be doing using virtual host. So what happened for each domain, we can have our own virtual host where you can do some configurations specific to your website. You can have default virtual host as well so that if nothing is matched, that virtual host can pick your request. So we'll see how you can define virtual host for, for understanding now in virtual host, you define the address means IP and the port for that virtual host and you can define multiple and there inside that virtual host, you can define multiple directives. So I'll talk about only what are used for our use cases. There are others. You can go back and check the documentation. This is a very pretty pass. You know, you have a lot of stuff there. We'll talk whatever we need. You can have document root, server name, log, rewrite. We'll see all these things in demo. Address of virtual host means how this virtual host will be identified. You can define using IP. You can use both IP4 and IP6. Qualified domain name if you have any domain name. Any IP if you give star. So that means this can be used for any, any, any IP or you can use default. Default is just allies for star. But how if you are saying here, if you give star, that means this will be picked for all the request, right? Which is not the use case for R. So if this is match, if this address is same, okay, then we check the server name. So in our case, because we are not using DNS, we will be using this. This can be identified using both the combination of address and server name in reg in ideal scenario this has to be uh, identified using both but preferences is given to this address first means ip and then server name so if address is same then it is identify using server name and we'll be using this property in our demo before we move on to demo you must understand few basic rules Priority of virtual host are top to bottom, but when, when nothing is matched, then the first one will be picked to serve that request. Let's say a request came and nothing, no virtual host is matched specifically for that domain or for that request. So that will be served by the first one. I'll leave you with the document of this virtual host. You can go back and check in detail. Now let's understand scenario. So I'm running three website. For example, one is weretail.local, another one is amgeeks.local, and third one is geekstutorial.local. Obviously, I don't have these domains. So just to use it as a domain, you can map these entries in your host file of your specific OS. So let me show you first how you can add these in your machine 
so that this can be resolved in your local only local browser okay so what you have to do if you are on Mac you can go to go to etc and uh, there must be etc etc host but this is a file so I cannot move there so what I can do here is because I have already you can open it in any editor so what you can do we sudo I need to get the root access first sudo vi etc and host file it will ask for password you will see these entries here I'm mapping my local host IP with these domains these are only specific to local don't use dot com or dot in or something so that is possibility like your request can go to the internet use the domain which actually don't use let's say I'm using local amgeeks.local this kind of stuff it's not a restriction you can add anything here but still if you have a normal domain name that can go to internet first so that way I'm whenever I hit this it will map to this IP all right now let me close this so what do I need now when I hit this website so I need cache to be created in a separate folder my configuration should be picked from different folders means I need a specific configuration for this website and I need the log files also generated in a different folder you can play around this you can have specific to your website whatever you need for for example we'll see the cache and the log file so what should happen when I hit this log file should be created uh, in a separate folder and cache as well so for example if you check here I am having cache over this folder private war content okay right now nothing is here right so if I hit this website what I need I need a specific folder where this cache should be created so if I hit this and let me hit this as well let me show you first this so if I hit I must see a cache here a folder for AM geeks this has been created here so if I hit again for this geeks tutorial and v retail I should see the this cache for two other folders as well specifically for this website so let me check you see the separate folders have been created here these are specific folder these are not the name of uh, the cache files if you go inside any of this see now it's created the folder actually path start from here right these are the folders given in my configuration I'll show you where these are same way uh, you can have different log files so if I show you the log file all right so log file I move to inside Apache itself etc Apache and logs right if I come here and show you there must be a different folders these one default default is basically for v retail and here if I go inside this all right these are two log files right now let's understand how we configure those and where the v hosts uh, are so before we move on to the configuration one thing you must understand configurations the core concepts of configuration are same but how do you configure those that completely a architect decision you might see whatever the configuration I show you here that might be different in your own project core concept is same why the virtual host is being used that is same in your project and here as well but how it is configured that might be a bit different in your project so keep in mind so in this let's say this is my folder we are my uh, Apache running in so this is my starting point of my file so what I'm doing here I remove all the configuration what I have done in this file rather than what I'm doing I'm including all the con file this have I have already explained in the fifth tutorial of this series but let me explain you again so it will go to this folder and whatever the dot con file is it will load okay so if you see go to this conf conf D 
and this is the virtual host file if i open here i'm defining the dispatcher related configurations means call dispatcher dot any log files whatever it is dispatcher log all this stuff nothing specific here i have already explained this now if you see at bottom i'm including here so what i'm saying whatever the vhost files are include all those files here you go to the available vhost and include these all the vhost here right so it will load all the vhost files whatever are there inside this available vhost now if you see i see the three files let me start with the am gigs so if you see here this is the address as i told you initially this is star that means this will work for all the ips port is 80 so how it will be identified so if you check here server name now if all the address are same it will look for the server name so if any request comes in using this domain amgeeks.local this virtual host will pick that request and that request will be served using this now it's the same thing old one here i'm defining uh, the handler exactly i have explained this and here one more thing you have defined the document root i have already explained what is document root it will look for the files it will actually match your domain to a file st file system here document root is this here and if you go the same configurations the important here i'm defining here i'm giving the permissions using this directory tag and rest of the things are same right so what happened when this now you must have this question this is only virtual host but how it will pick the other configurations so now it will go to your farm files and where the farm files are you will see conf.d or conf.dispatcher.d it will check the form file here it there are number of the form files so first you must have a question how these form files will load these are defined in dispatcher.any if you open it i'm loading all the form files using this dispatcher.any and dispatcher.any is being called in this module you will see here so that's how these are loading now the question you should have i have this vhost i have these files all these files are loaded so how this virtual host can map a farm file to this virtual host this is a valid question right i have four farm files anyone can be picked any file file can be picked so if you come here and see this this is important point how these virtual host is mapped to farm file let me open this so in this farm file you will see a entry for virtual host so okay I'm, I'm just loading these virtual host from a different folder so that i can give the different configuration from different for different websites so you define your server name here let's go to the virtual host and check this file these are the virtual host and let me open this as well so you define here i'm defining the server name means your domain here so this is the domain mentioned in your farm file and this is the domain uh, where is my virtual host see this is the server name defined here so whenever it it matches both things so your virtual host pick your farm file and your farm file having all the configuration what you need you have different directives client headers virtual host i have already explained this cache rules and all and it will pick the cache path from here because this virtual this farm file has been picked so these configuration will be picked so now cache will be created under this log files you are defining here if you go to the bottom you will see the log files all right so these log files will be used for this virtual host for this domain okay and if i show you all others so you will understand here i'm defining this server name is this and document root is different files are different error log files are different and same way i define for this so right now i did not give default but what should happen you can have one default you do not need to have virtual host you can have a farm file itself but it's always have a good idea to have a virtual host for default request in case nothing is matched on your uh, among your virtual hosts 
I hope you understood this configuration how to do that just play around this I will leave these configuration in a git repo and I'll add that path of that git repo in description please if you are using Mac please use the configuration in Mac branch for Windows I did not update this later I will update update these configuration as per your system and you can use it add your comment if you have any question I'll be happy to answer thank you